what the heck is this thing again? This big it's a panoramic curved glass plate travel box from okay. approximately between 1855 and 1880. The crazy picker life with wheeler, dealer, and banana peeler. Good early morning. This is Dealer with the Crazy Picker Life. A welcome to fellow pickers and would-be adventurers. Well, I'm back in the office. Uh, obviously, if you watched yesterday's vlog, we ended up in sort of a uh, typhoon here and uh, got to unload the van after the typhoon was over. I got a chance to go home and have some supper and hang out with the family, take some sort of a nap. And then as promised, no, not as promised, well, it's 1.24 a.m. I came down a little bit uh, into Monday, it's Labor Day, figured I better labor. Came down after midnight, it's 1.24 a.m. and got uh, a super late vlog. Downloaded, uploaded, you know, all that kind of stuff. On the road is a challenge. I don't know what I have here, it's gotta be 50 orders. It's pretty thick, I'm not packing right now. But I did want to print orders and I did want to look over my questions. I still have a bunch of unanswered questions, but I think I took it from about 20 questions down to maybe 12. Some of them I need Wheeler's help, uh, specialty camera stuff, and of course he handles all that. I need to look at those questions a little bit before I pack orders because sometimes there's special uh, requests and that type of thing. So I got, I got most of that handled. Part of the reason we do not leave our auctions listed is because you can get, um, especially in the camera business, we probably get you know, four on a slow day, 12, 15 on a busy day questions. We cannot, we cannot get 100 questions behind you know you can't go 10 days and get a hundred questions behind you just you can't get caught up wheeler is part-time really i mean he's got school he's finishing up this year senior year and i just i can't put him in that position now that's not the whole enchilada why i shut auctions down like that um just some sort of sanity i guess the other end of it is 10 orders is a slow day, 10 orders going out. If we have all our auctions up and not necessarily um, active, we get, you know, we get the, um, we get the questions, but if I leave them up like with longer shipping uh, time, I can't come back and have a hundred orders. I just can't, I can't deal with that. There's too much else that goes on when you come home with big family and other responsibilities and so this this stack of orders i am super glad to have it here and i and we time some of our vacations we time our longer vacations typically around memorial day and labor day so that i have monday to catch up tomorrow or today i guess today is not a shipping day so i've got a chance to catch this up I started orders back up on Thursday, Wednesday night, Thursday. And so then we, you know, we just, they've been rolling. And I've got, uh, I've got at least high 40s here. That's manageable, but I'm going to go home and get some sleep, get some rest. And then uh, I've got school tomorrow with the kids. We don't take a holiday on Labor Day for school. Uh, we'll get that going. I do have lawn home tomorrow, which is nice, so I can come down here and do my packing. So I wanted to check, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Sometimes I just feel like I'm blubbering, blubbering, blabbering. I wanted to check in with the vlog and say hello and get that rolling. 
I hope to be much, much more coherent today, later, this morning. I don't know if there'll be something exciting. I found that I left myself like a mess, a mess of stuff that I bought right before I, right before we left. And so there's plenty of stuff to list and to process. So it's going to be a busy week. Uh, I already outlined, if you haven't seen yesterday's vlog, I outlined what we're going to do for this pretty much this whole week. There'll be a little picking in there because I've got to hit my local stops. But that's it. Show and tell. Outline the numbers of the trip. The 10 day trip we just took. And then questions and answers on anything you want to know by the end of the week. So we'll do it. Catch you soon. For me it'll be like a 6 or 7 hour sleep. But through the magic of video, time compression of video, it'll be just after I sign off here. I'll be back on and fresh. There you go, in the office. Uh, it's about 10 a.m. And I got things going at home. Took a whooping. Came down here and got started. So what you got to do when you got so many orders, it's easy just to see them all at once, like a big elephant. And you're like, I don't want to go up anywhere near that big elephant. And so what I had to do, what I have to do is I have to just start taking bites of the elephant, little bites, little bites, little bites, little bites. It's like a big pile of stuff that you don't want to list, but you have to list. You can look at the big pile and you can go, there's the big elephant again. I ain't going to shovel his dung. But you got to start shoveling. One little shovel at a time. One little shovel at a time. Pretty soon you're moving the pile, right? So there's the pile. Now the good news is this isn't dung. This is money going out. You know, this is, this is a big deal. Oh. And here comes Wheeler to do some homework down here. That seems to be his new thing. I'm on the vlog. So I'll be with you in a moment. Yep. There he is, fresh off the trip. Fresh off the trip. <laughs> so I got things rolling and of course there's always, you know, going to be things that sort of try to derail you big one today is the washer or the washing machine is on the fritz and so you know you go on a trip with uh, eight people six kids you can imagine there's laundry to do this is lon's day off before her four day week and laundry is on her mind i don't know where wheeler went i think he must have went back outside hmm so anyway, uh, guess who's the laundry washing machine repair punching bag? <laughs> oh, so I got a date with my uh, laundry washing machine for lunch. I'm not going to get into it. I just have to do it. Okay, let's start packing. Well, I got to start on the orders uh, and I had a lot of miscellaneous uh things to tackle questions and stuff I don't know there's the pile for now I think there's six ten there I got a lot more to pack it's gonna be a long day more more are coming in that's you know orders are funny okay if anybody ever thinks that I don't like getting orders it, it has nothing to do with that I mean we just have orders every day it's just how it is it's been that way for years and so it's it's Packing them is okay. You can zone out, whatever. And and you got to have the cash flow and you got to sell things to make money. It's just that sometimes, like now, I wouldn't mind catching up and then they start coming. So I think I packed 10 and I think since I started packing, like four or five more came in. I know everybody cry. Oh, dealer, you got so much business. You don't know what to do with it. <laughs> oh, it ain't that. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go try to tackle this washing machine and, and everybody might be saying, uh, why don't you get a repair man? Why don't you buy a new washing machine? Why don't you let Lon, uh, you know, her, her threats of getting in there and becoming her own repair man, why don't you let her do that? <laughs> oh my goodness, are you guys married? Um, do you live in a small town? Do you have a washer that, I don't know, we bought this Fisher and Pakel Eco Smart medium, medium high end. It's not high end, but it's medium. M many years ago, you know, and we're, we're due for an upgrade. I mean, this thing has been through the ringer. It's been pretty good to us. Uh, if I knew what was coming in my family when I bought this thing, I would have got like commercial grade, bigger, not so eco-friendly, like get it done type washer. But, you know, you ride it out. There's so many things you can spend your money on, whatever, right? I'm believing less and less in credit and less and less in just jumping out and getting everything you want when you want it, all that, you know? So, uh, nobody's going to want to fix this thing in my town, not to mention it's Labor Day. It's all, you know, there's a couple shops in town and uh, this thing is a little oddball, it really is. I've taken this thing apart and really what I think it needs is a sludge cleaning because there's a drain at the bottom, the way this thing shakes and whirs and does its thing, all the sediment and crap, and it really probably is skin cells and crap and who knows what. I got lots of kids, whatever. It settles down there and so you gotta take it apart, scoop this stuff out, clean it out, make sure the pump is working, get the water out of there, then the thing won't go through the unbalance uh, problem. Right now there's this big weight down there and the thing starts going, going, going and then it, it can't handle it and it goes unbalanced. That's the hunch. And of course, Lon is troubleshooting. Lon has a lot of good qualities. Lon, you got a lot of good qualities, even some great ones. Troubleshooting mechanical devices may not be it. So she is gun ho about finding what everybody else has done to fix the problem. And I'm all ears, but I got my hands in it and I get it, okay? I got my hands in some other things I'd like to get caught up on today, like 40 more orders. So I'm going to get after it. Go dealer, go. Get after it. Get those hands dirty. I'm not against it. The timing of it is not sparktacular and it never is. Okay, time to go. <laughs> I feel like I have more to say. Uh, we are going to hit our number today. Today starts our September contest. I'll talk a little bit about that later. On top of everything else, um, we've got to hit a thousand dollars listing per day in the office. Today is a day in the office. Wheeler tells me he's got his school done. What are you working on, Wheeler? Yeah, this Cooper tripod here. Is that the Double first one or the second one? Oh, second you already one. You got that one sorted. Yep. That's well, a good, that. pretty. And now you're working on smaller one. Yep, another one here. Newer one, older one? Uh, about the same age. It's interesting, it has carpet feet on this side and then spiked feet on this side, so you can flip them over if you need the crazy. So spikes. a lot of tripods aren't worth anything. What makes this worth something? Ah, uh, it's really old and it's wood. Wood legs, decent shape. Yep, and this crazy big light handle on there is kind of neat too. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, it is pretty funky early weld job down there too. I'm not sure if somebody's trying to add on there. I guess a hook for hanging a weight. Maybe hanging the camera underneath. Uh, no. They, they do have, all they have kinds of, bags. I see. Went for wind and stuff. Yeah. I forget exactly what it's for, but I've seen it before. So, you know, the, the Bakelite things are really cool because all the old pictures were black and white, right? Yep. So you look back at pictures of these things, a lot of them, and you always see black and white. You never, I never realized that there was so much color. Yeah in the old days, because the black and white pictures don't show it. It's kind of funny. 
So the Bakelite was really cool. That's yep. uh, kind of like a mustard yellow with a black swirl. It's pretty neat. Yep. All right, I'm going to let you go. Uh, it's around uh, probably noon is gone. It's 12.13. I'm hoping to be back by 3 if I bust it. All right? Yep. You need anything else? Nope. Yeah, the color thing is really... A lot of the old advertising, you, you see the colors um, where black and white doesn't show it, but like these these things have a lot of color. I mean, this has some crazy greens in it, obviously the red and the blue. Um, just, you know, a lot of things were colored. Of course, that's got to be my sort of favorite now, even though it's very simple. Okay. Stop putting it off. Pedal to the metal. Get it going. Blah, 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 blah. So, uh, September, we have an in-house, in-office contest for listing. We have to hit $1,000 listing every day that we're in the office, which uh, starts today. And it looks like we're going to have a couple extended picking weekends uh not this weekend coming up but the one after that and the one after that one of them going up into nebraska so we got to cut those days out i don't know how many days in the office we have this month but it's like 20 i'll have to do a count on that what we are playing for and i'm actually going to order it and use it early uh we're playing for a bigger tv set this one just doesn't do it there used to be a big sign there and now we're putting mostly a big tv there so uh i'm gonna order that and we're gonna use it for packer parties and our friday night saturday night when we watch uh star trek or whatever movies we watch old horror films whatever me and the boys watch after we're done with work and let's see where was i going with this Okay, so if we don't hit it, okay, so now we're buying it ahead of time. I'm putting it up. We're using it this weekend, this Sunday, for the opening Packer game. If I can get it here, Amazon Prime or whatever. Um, if we don't hit our numbers, if we miss our numbers one day, which between you and me, we're not going to miss our numbers. We got good stuff. I'm dedicated. It ain't going to happen. But Lon would like a new TV at home. So if we don't hit our numbers, that TV goes from here to home. That ain't gonna happen. So this is just how it's working out. So I gotta put my, uh, I gotta get my new board started here. Here's our board. And so we keep track. Or our numbers here daily September numbers we need uh, items just like to keep track of that uh, days and dollars that's like the running total so I add I add the bottom to, to that every single time we're in here every day and then this is the daily items items dollars so we need it uh, doesn't matter how many items but we need a thousand bucks a day and then I'll add it up days 1 through 20 up here total items total dollars that just gives me some idea where we're at and the TV uh, I'm capping it I'm gonna look at what's available I'm not gonna get cutting edge or whatever but I'm gonna get a nice one, nice big one. Um, capping it at like a thousand bucks, something like that. I don't care about going a generation back. It's a lot better than what we have, and none of us sit there and like, you know, sit in front of the TV all the time. It's uh, it's use in out, blah blah blah. We don't watch a lot of TV, but I want something bigger and better. And uh, there you go. So I'm making progress here. Uh, washer took it apart scummy in there cleaned it out didn't really find anything did some tests uh, may have just needed a reset it's got a brain and, and we reset it 
I ran it all the way through a cycle without any clothes and it worked just fine. So we'll find out when I go home for supper if it worked or not. I haven't I haven't got a text one way or another and I've been gone more than an hour. So good news, bad news, who knows. Um, if it doesn't do it, I'm about out of things, although I'm going to do a little more research if it doesn't do it. And uh, then we might be in for a new washer. Who knows? Anyway, I took a break here to film this segment. Orders are starting to stack up. I think I'm at 20. Making headway, just not fast enough. There's so many distractions and little things to take care of, and I'm trying to pick at some things in between. Uh, Wheeler uh, has been working hard here. Got a bunch of stuff listed. This thing... Back in the office, man. Huh? Back in the office, man. I gotta get going. Woo. Yeah. Yeah, this thing turned out better. What What the heck is this thing again? This big... It's a panoramic curved glass plate travel box from okay. approximately between 1855 and 1880. Okay. One age range there, but that's just when they were made. So. so this thing could be... This thing could be over 150 years old. Uh-huh. I picture this on a stagecoach yep. or, uh, you know, train yep. or possibly like a, a big boat, but there were glass slides in there and not only glass slides, this is pre-film, they could have been, and, and you're thinking it's the panoramic, the long ones because yep. of the length of the slots in there? Yeah, the slots are, I think, 7 by 19 inches, which would point to that type of film. There's really no normal camera would have that. Now format. these these pictures, these panoramics, I might have one still over here. I've got a really long one up here. Yeah, this that panoramic or yeah, a really long one. That was probably taken That's film though. Yeah, it's film. Yeah, it's real film. Okay, so glass plates would be would be different. When yep. they did a panoram panoramic in glass plates, what did they transfer that to paper then? No. No, it was displayed in the well they could they could actually transfer it to paper and it could be printed like that but for the most part they're kept at the glass plate negative and one thing i'll say is i'm pretty sure that picture up there was used with a name to scare you but it's like a cyclone row cyclone camera i don't know no circuit circuit camera that's what spinning they're camera circuit camera yeah they spin around in their large format so it's actually as wide as that panorama right right it's like a full 360 degree Right. It came out between 1895, they used all the way up to the 40s, 50s, right. whatever. These actually took a lot smaller panoramas. They couldn't be enlarged, so they're really small. So this panoramas. is rare, but the, yep. gla the glass plates that would have been in there would also be pretty rare at this point. Yeah, I'd say pre-1890, you could get a very large panorama. They're all these little small things, so you would yeah. actually recognize it probably if you saw one. Yeah, so this is, a, this is probably, there's a patent date on here. Yeah. There weren't a lot of those cameras, and there weren't a lot of those people running around. Yeah. And that's the thing. The one I was looking up with the curved glass plates, they made 30 of them. Yeah. So there weren't a lot of these, and certainly it's like 75 pounds, you said? Yeah, 75 pounds. Not a lot survived. Nobody knows what these things necessarily are. Inside of it. Is it wood? Wood, yep. All the way from here, all the way is wood. Wood, and then it, you know, it keeps them keeps them dry and clean and keeps them from clinking on each other and yep. then this is like a, a metal right uh, it's almost like a lead wood. or it's yeah, super, there might be lead in there we haven't it's super heavy so it doesn't bounce that. yeah i mean it's super heavy pretty much the curved glass plates were 10 times or something more fragile than the straight glass plates so that was another reason it had to be so heavy and protective somebody said some of that stuff could explode too is there anything i don't think so Okay, that's well, the, different. Well, the photographic chemicals and stuff, for sure. That's not what was in there, though? No. So, we got it for 50 bucks, and we're listing it way out of sight at where? $1,899.99. Yeah, and we're going to try to attract some interest. I think it's very realistic that we go for that, especially the right person. The right person at a professional camera auction might pay as much as 5000 for something like that. Well, but, if they were, but we're not if, a professional camera auction house. If they were it. fighting with somebody else. Oh, yeah. That's this would saying. this would be in some sort of museum display. Yep. That's it. Um, the right, just, here's what it comes down to: the right person would pay as much as he needed to pay for this because it's basically one of a kind. Yeah, you don't find them. It's hard to find the right person. Though. Well, yeah. So who knows what we're gonna do on this? Yep. We'll, we'll take an offer and we're gonna see what we can do. But really, it is a neat piece. Yep. It's an oddball piece. It's one of those kind of pieces that'll sit around for a while and then sell at full price when it finally sells. Hopefully. Yep. 
Okay, so we hauled that darn thing home. It's a hundred glass plates in there too. Hundred, hundred exactly. Uh -huh. Hundred glass plates. Okay, so there you go. I don't know what to make of that thing, but looks like I might get my fifty dollars back. We'll see. We've had some winners like that. We've had some duds. Um, I'm gonna have to ship that in something different than an envelope. Okay, gotta keep packing. Supper's coming. I gotta hit 30 before supper. That would feel pretty good. Time to go home for supper. Supper, supper. Spend some time with the kiddos. I'm trying to get a few things done around there. I don't know. Keep forgetting to put on my hat. Things are falling apart here. Let's see if we can get Wheeler. Okay, wrap it up, man. What? Wrap it up. We're going for supper. Okay. Uh, I think I'm at 32 orders packed. Let's take a look here. The pile keeps growing. Yeah, the orders keep coming in, so I don't know. I'm making headway. But uh, I'll tell you what. I, uh, I like being in the office today. I'm definitely winded. <laughs> I'm winded. I'm not sure how to quite get out of that vacation shake off shake it off shake it off okay i gotta run an errand on the way home we'll be back in the office momentarily <clears throat> i got my third wind first one was gone early second one was before supper <sighs> third wind <clears throat> all right here's the stack Careful showing the stack, don't show addresses. Just printed those, 13 more orders. These are the ones since, I don't know, whenever I printed the main stack. Oh, it's a little out of hand. These are what days like this, when we come back from these big trips, this is what it's like. It's like, pick away at all the stuff that you need to do, and in between, Pack orders, pack orders, pack orders. Such a rough life. Stack is getting a little higher. I lost count. There's a couple UPS over there. Now, we promised you some show and tell videos. The problem is this guy in here, he's already started to list the stuff I'm supposed to show and tell. Yeah. Of course, we've talked about that, the box thing. So talk a little bit about, we already sort of showed these maybe in the videos, two tripods. We already just talked about those. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about those. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I think I'm losing my mind. Okay, so you're listing old stuff. So the strategy, wow, strategy is... <laughs> list a couple items that we brought then list the rest of the old stuff we still have ugly old stuff to list of course this stuff is good old stuff yeah but i can bring you some dusty crusty stuff dusty we, stuff's really good though there's some really good stuff like I mean, dusty stuff i don't know we got to figure out how to deal with that mm -hmm. so what do you got left uh that right there all this is pictured and tested so i'm just chipping my way through it I have 10 lens hoods listed since I got here, I don't know how long ago. Refresh from the trip? Yeah. Okay. So where are we going to store that thing? Uh, not sure. We could use it as a footstool. Yeah. So it's over in the man room. Like a Louis Vuitton footstool. It's pretty durable. Yeah, it is. What do you got over here? I have some key work clothes and advertising and banner thingy my bobbers. Hmm. And key that's... Nylon. Key nylon jeans. What's nylon about it? I don't know. I've got some signs. More wear, 17% nylon. Oh, look at that. More wear, 17% nylon. Three or four of those, I think. I'm not sure if they're all the same. They don't find all that yeah, they're just a little dusty. They're they're dusty. Not, they don't smell at all. Other stuff there is part of the Polaroid Funny Photos. Funny photos okay. kit. Yeah, I don't there's. I think we got the box with that, did we? No, but there's more right. of it somewhere. We're gonna have to. I think to... I got the box, but it's in pieces. We'll have to have some fun with that. It's pretty dusty, grungy. Put it yeah. right. Put those teeth right in your mouth. Don't the worry if they're right dusty. On. The skull cap right on. Skull cap. Mmm, yeah. boy, we're gonna have the cool stuff. We'll get. Uh, we'll get 
And the other dude, what's his name? Banana P, BP, Sick BP. Sick Banana Peeler. We'll get him on that. On that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Goodbye. Yeah. Whew. This is quality, quality vlogging. I feel like I've been at it for 24 hours. Wait. No, it's not true. I did get a good six or seven hours sleep in there somewhere. Okay, Joe, almost back on top. Now tomorrow is going to be super uh, exciting for, for us here. It's going to be busy. I've got to actually um, do some work on school tomorrow with the kids. Today I left them on cruise control a little bit. And they did all their homework and did a great job. And uh, Mom Lon was over there doing her homework with them. So tomorrow I'll have to play catch up. We're going to start running again tomorrow. I can't tell you how little I ran during vacation because it's embarrassing. But my belly shows it. Oh. So we'll get running tomorrow, day at the track. And then I'm hoping to get my Jeep back. I have Jeep withdrawal. And then I have to go down and I'm hoping all 18 of my boxes along with a whole bunch of other stuff is down at the post office. So. I got to go pick that up. And then I got a problem. All this stuff here. Uh, I don't have any totes. I think they're either in the Jeep. I might have left some in there. I can't remember. My Jeep is over at the, the body shop getting some paint. Hopefully they're done with it. Uh, or I got to get some totes in the morning when I pick everything up so I can bring this stuff back in easily. Okay, 13 more orders to go, and then I gotta order some things online, and then hopefully wrap it up, do the vlog, I don't know, go home. You know, this is what it's like. This is, this is how it was before we left. I had to work a little harder, although I have to admit going into this trip, I, I took it a little bit easy going in. And now, coming out of it, it is certainly eye-opening. Okay, pack the orders now, is what I have to tell myself. Pack the orders, pack the orders, pack the orders. Well, we got it. I don't have a count. But, it looks pretty impressive. I don't know, I haven't had a day like this for a while. Uh, we can count it together. Maybe we should. Let's count it together. It starts over here. It's pretty easy. One, two, three. Then you got this going. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Mm, these are a little harder. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Uh, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Now we're going to do a, a math thing here, okay? 4 times 6 is 24. I don't remember what I said before. Oh, no. Well, whatever I said, plus 24. How's that sound? Big day, lots of packing. My mind is numb from packing. I'm caught up. I'm sure there'll be more orders in the morning. If not, something's wrong. Good day. Now, I can't handle much more than that. So there's no way I'm going to leave my auctions running. Um, I could leave them up. We've talked about this before. It's just, this is the way I do it. When I show up, there's a lot of orders and it's fine. So it's only, uh, here's what we do now. Slits, coming at you. When you order a Slits, you don't think about the months it takes us to brew an agent. But the long, careful, golden age of Schlitz is what makes it America's choicest premium beer. It's hard with one hand. When you're out of Schlitz, 
nuclear disaster. Go down the beer chips. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all your comments, all your questions. Tomorrow is Tuesday. I hope to have some show and tell lined up. Uh, I've got to get some stuff out of the way. All the boxes are coming in. When you're out of Schlitz, you're out of beer. That's not really my, that's not my ending. My ending is pick well list often. I've got to change that. I can't, uh, I can't fit, I can't fit the Schlitz lingo logo jingle in there. When you're out of Schlitz, start listing your items. It doesn't work that way, does it? Dealer out. Hey, Wheeler. Dealer production.